guys have only recently come off stage. It's one of the acts that I've most been looking forward uh, to seeing. It is Go A, guys. How are you after your rehearsal? We're just perfect, you know. Yeah. So, uh, so uh, just uh, very, it's very emotional, and uh, we're just, uh, you know, it's it's hard to describe everything in words because it's like ah! <laughs> something like this. Yeah. Well, you kept us all guessing because we had no idea how you were gonna stage it, and maybe it's a, the, the staging is a bit of a surprise for fans because we were expecting, you know, maybe red, but we've got this beautiful kind of white scenery with the with the trees. Tell us more about the staging idea. Uh, yeah, of course. Uh, so, uh, basically the staging idea is uh, us traveling from the past to the future. So we're trying to combine, you know, uh, ancient uh, Ukrainian mythology with modern cyberpunk and maybe future cyberpunk. So uh, it's everything about our song and its meaning. Uh, so we are trying to awaken spring in a global sense. Uh, so and uh, so we have those uh, we call them uh, cyber tambourines. Yeah. So that uh, that our dancers are using. So uh, <coughs> they do this you know magic ritual with Kate. So and Kate has uh, this uh, green fur coat. Uh, so actually it symbolizes the this room itself. I mean the fur spirit. Uh, which is named Shroom. Uh, so, and together they're doing this, uh, you know, magical performance to Awaken Spring. Yeah, and Kate, you look amazing in your green oh, fur coat. Thank you very much. Was that your choice? Did you choose it yourself? Ты сама выбрала себе? Uh, well, uh, she, she was one of uh, people who were choosing everything uh, about uh, costumes and staging. So uh, it was uh, not only her idea, but her idea too. Yeah. Now, guys, before you stepped out on the stage, because we've seen the stage on the screens and it is a big stage and it looks amazing. How did you feel before you stepped out? Because your oh. journey's been like two years to get here. I feel that it's a beautiful place and uh, amazing, amazing stage in this year and uh, I feel uh, that uh, 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 she, she says that uh, she, this, this is the exact place she needs to be at the yes. moment. Well, and actually I want to add for myself that, uh, you know, uh, you, uh, when you go on stage, on this kind of stage, on this stage, you, you know, you want to be there forever <laughs> because it's, you know, and we're waiting for the audience to come and for all this magic to happen. So we are very excited. Yeah. So obviously you guys are spending a lot of time kind of in the hotel in right. lockdown. I want to know, especially from these gentlemen, how are you going to be using that time? Uh, I'll translate that. Хлопці, як ви будете використовувати той час в готелі, що у вас є ці два тижні? Maybe I'm making some music because I'm uh, taking the computer, the microphone, the, some flutes, and maybe... Uh... Oh wow, well, because you have other artists in your hotel, so maybe you could do like a, a virtual kind well, of duet with another artist from this year. Unfortunately, there are restrictions, as you know, so we cannot contact with anybody. Mm -hmm. uh, but still, we have plenty of time and room to uh, do some new music. So, every, uh, so Igor uh, took his laptop with him, Kate and me, uh, myself also. So we have microphones, we have sound cards, and we are ready for inspiration. And here it is. It's all. It's everywhere here. So we have our inspiration right now, and who knows? Maybe uh, it will. Maybe we make a new hit in Eurovision. <laughs> yeah. oh. Well, if you need a vocalist, I can't sing, but maybe I could try some rapping or something, so I could send you a vocal track. You could put it on one of your beats, and then Fantastic. I can feature really? it in a guy. <laughs> it would literally be, be dream come true. Um, now, guys, have you seen any of the reactions? Because uh, lots of people are reacting to the rehearsals. Have you seen any of the fan reactions yet from your rehearsal today? Oh. Yeah, do we watch like his reactions Yes, yes. Uh, people uh, uh, say that we are very uh, good uh, uh, artists. <laughs> oh, well, we knew that already. <laughs> well, actually, the all. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, um, uh, actually, I didn't have I didn't have time to see everything. I had only one comment from my wife. She says she loves me. <laughs> she's the biggest critic, so if she's pleased, then she is the biggest critic and also the biggest fan. Yes. 
So, uh, well, I, I, I think uh, so. Uh, in the evening, we'll have time, or maybe during the night, because I think there are a lot of comments, and uh, just uh, we want to, you know, see them all and answer them all. Yeah, and have you, have you kind of uh, done rehearsal and thought there's some things that we have to change, or have you got it all totally nailed down? How are you feeling? I suppose there uh, would be some minor technical changes, but still, uh, we love it as it is right now. Yeah. Now, uh, we have to, obviously Eurovision is very, very different here this year. You know, we're stood here with masks, um, lots of social distancing. Are you going to get any opportunities to kind of see Rotterdam? Are there any kind of socially distanced trips that you've got planned? What's happening? Uh, yeah, uh, actually, we're going to have two excursions. Oh, OK. Nice. Yeah. Uh, so we're... Uh, I, I, uh, I can say we're looking forward to those excursions, but... Uh, we're looking forward to new rehearsals and to our performance. So yeah, excursions yeah. are like a pleasant bonus for us. Yeah. Uh, but still, we are fully concentrated on uh, our music and our performance and what we have to do here. Uh, well, you need to make sure. Did you bring your um, your hazmat suits from your original Shum video? You remember the uh, first one we had? Uh, that's the last question. Did we? We took our costumes and these You said you could wear your costumes. Oh, no. No. no, you could use them on your excursions, I'm thinking, <laughs> to keep yourself. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. I, I think we'll just uh, wear we can, space we can suits. buy it in Rotterdam. I think so. Uh, hey, do, guys do, in Rotterdam, yeah, we do, need these costumes. Yeah. Do, do they have uh, helmet suits in Rotterdam here? I'm sure, I, we, I, I, I'm sure we can find you some. I'm sure we can. <laughs> I have to say, what I love about you guys is your energy. You're having a lot of fun. It's been a kind of a big battle for you to finally get to step out on that Eurovision stage. But I can right. see from your eyes because I can't see your mouths but I can see you're really enjoying the experience yes we totally enjoy the experience and uh, well actually uh, for all our you know musicians me myself Kate Igor Ivan we all played in rock bands and metal bands before so we have like those uh, rock attitude to it so we have a lot of emotions on stage and uh, performing our song it's uh, it's, it's just amazing, you know. I cannot uh, find the right words to describe everything because uh, there are lots of emotions and uh, you cannot just uh, play this kind of music and just stay like this on stage. It's impossible. No, and it's obviously we love the build in the song as well. So we do, um, Clara, who's here behind the camera, was doing a little raving uh, oh, well, when that bit came on. We might get to do some in front of the camera. Yeah, actually, our sound engineer named this uh, this thing as a king of build-ups. Yes. <laughs> we've not had anything like that at Europe. We've had build-ups before, but we don't get them very much. And this one just builds and builds and builds. I have it. Yeah, well, there's, it's, uh, you know, you are going to get some audience in the arena when you're uh, performing in the semi-final as well so hopefully you'll see some of, you'll be able to see some of the audience yeah, I'm look, we're looking forward to it actually from where you are on stage um, but guys you know we've been following your journey for a couple of years now we're so happy uh, to see you here have you got a message uh, for your fans and please tell them to vote because we're trying to get everyone to vote for you um, but give a message to your fans and our viewers okay, okay. <laughs> uh, remember your roots uh, be happy and uh, vote for, for uh, Ukraine. Yeah, don't vote for anyone else. Vote for Ukraine. Yeah. Vote for, <laughs> so, vote for Goway and vote for Ukraine. Yeah, yes. because uh, uh, we are amazing. <laughs> <laughs> they are, and I can vouch for that. Guys, thank you so much, and uh, we will see you uh, after your second rehearsal, hopefully. Hopefully so. Th thank you for this interview. At last we're meeting in person. So it's yes, and we can't even go for a drink. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so give our regards to Stuart. Stuart. Will do, will do. Hi, Stu. <laughs> yeah, hi, Stu. How are you doing? <laughs> he's, he's one of your biggest fans as well, oh. so we'll, we'll make sure that we say hello. That's nice. But guys, thank you. Good luck in the second rehearsal. Enjoy your excursions uh, if they're before then, and just make sure you chill out and relax. I'm looking forward to hearing this music that you're going to be making as well. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you, guys. Take care. Thank you.